Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Bello Kevy and welcome to episode two of The Road to Disney. In this week's video, I'm going to show you where we're staying, an update on the job and how we're feeling so far and a fun trip to Disney Springs. So stay tuned. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is we're gonna show you guys where we're living. All right, so we've been here for about a week so the place is still a little bit of a mess, so bear with us. So I am going to allow Tony to give you guys the tour. Hey guys, so welcome to our new home here in Tampa, Florida. I cannot wait to uh, give you guys a little tour. So come on over. This is going to be our living space. Look at all of my beautiful husband's uh, children here. <laughs> they made it down. safe. Um, this actually, this camper is about maybe uh, 500 square feet. Um, so it has, you know, lots of storage space on the top, on the bottom, um, lots of cabinetry space. This is our kitchen, fully equipped with a stove, a, um, what is this called in here? An oven? An oven, uh, microwave. It has these lights and a uh, really nice trick, get some gadgets. Here's gonna be our wine and storage space, fully equipped freezer and uh, fridge. And then it also carries a lot of cabinetry space here. This holds two full uh, size mattresses. I'm not gonna show you in here because it's crazy. All right, camera, open it. Open cameraman it. saying open it. It's not that's enough. Right <laughs> we and have to go through that. It's really we fun. have a uh, bathroom fully equipped as well, too. Bathroom has a sink, has a uh, toilet, and it also has a shower uh, for one person and one person only. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, it does have a sun uh, roof on the very top and then I'll take you guys to where the magic happens. Come on back. You gotta talk about the TV. Oh, I have a really nice TV too. Uh, the TV actually turns. We're uh, watching Selena. <laughs> it turns towards the living room so if you are wanting to take the show to the bedroom area you can and it just is with a flip of your wrist and it uh, transfers the TV over to the other side of the room. Um, this does have two entrances so two little doors you can actually shut them off and uh, this is a full size queen bedroom mattress guys. Um, I have never slept so good. Um, it's better than that you know, what we had in New York, so um, awesome. And then uh, it has a- It has a mirror length. here. <laughs> it has a full length mirror. <laughs> flip uh, the TV, show them. Let's flip the TV here. Bam. So you can flip the TV this way. Um, and then you can also flip it the other way, but don't get any ideas with the mirror, right? That's it. Okay, so how do you feel? Um, so, so far so good. I mean, you know, it's pretty early to tell, you know, how our life is going to settle here in Florida. Um, you know, as you guys already knew, I'm already originally a Florida person, uh, originally born and bred here in Tampa, not born and bred, but you know, lived here for a while. Um, so to me, it's actually a different adjustment because now I'm coming in with a husband. So um, it's a little bit more of a different dynamic and hopefully, right, you know, um, how are you feeling now that you are in a brand new space? I mean, I know Jersey's all you had and New York is all you had, so. Right, so I've never lived anywhere but New Jersey and New York, but overall, like right now, I'm feeling very confident. I love it here. Yeah. Tony's family is so nice. I love everybody and everybody's making it super comfortable for me. Um, I had one rough night and it was the first night that I got here. I think everything just kind of hit me at once and then I started to cry. And then the next day I was fine over it and that was my only breakdown, so. Yeah, I love it so far. Let's, I guess we're gonna keep checking in every week and let you guys know how we feel. But so far we're still yeah. excited to be here. I think the things that we would probably miss about New York is just the convenience of everything. I mean, as yeah. you guys know, like our adventures in New York, you know, we were able to take the train and then, or yeah. if we weren't, weren't taking a train, we would go downstairs and there was a bar, there was a yeah. liquor store. You have to like, drive everywhere. everywhere. Here. Um, and you know that's been a little bit of a challenge because obviously we don't have a car. Yeah, we're starting off fresh. We have nothing. We have we we threw away most most, most of, of our stuff. stuff just so we're coming out with three bags, and they're just closed. Yeah, thankfully uh, Tony's clothes. mom is allowing us to stay on her camper, and it's helping us out a lot. And let's talk about jobs. 
Yes. Do you want to go first? Um, no, you go first. Okay, so yeah. the day before I left, obviously you guys saw in episode one that I got um, an interview and I ended up getting it within the first call. So now I can share with you guys because it is confirmed I did actually get hired. I had my first day. I am working at Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida as a uh, parks operation. Woo! So that's kind of like uh, a step closer to my road to Disney. Like my goal is I really want to work at Walt Disney World. So now I can put this on my resume and say, hey, I worked at a theme park before, you know, Disney. Let yeah, me in. Let me in. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's been really exciting. I know that he's going to love Bush Gardens. I That was actually one of, uh, one of the jobs that I had here in Florida that I really enjoyed. Um, I just enjoyed the people and the, the mm -hmm. fact that there was just so much high energy. And I just feel like for you, my love, it's just going to be the best thing yeah. um, for your advancement. It's like a stepping stone for what you want to do. Um, and then for me, um, I wanted something totally different and we were actually talking about it in New York I've been working in retail for like about 14 years so if any of you guys have worked in retail at some point you guys do get burnt out you know um, for sure. you get yeah. burnt out working with um, a different kind of clientele and just trying to you know convince somebody of things to buy that you really don't believe in anymore um, yeah. so you know I ventured out I applied to things that I wasn't even qualified for, guys. So, you know, for those of you that are looking for a different direction or, or, or a change in pace or something different to do in your life, don't be afraid to go out there and explore. Don't be afraid to go out there and like take the leap because you never know what you're gonna find. So basically what he's telling you is if you wanna be a doctor but you didn't go to doctor school, be a doctor. Just go apply. <laughs> if they hire you, that's their fault, okay? That's their own fault for hiring you. <laughs> but you know, just like, no, just know what you're good at. You know what I mean? Be strong on what you're good at. Don't take no for an answer because you. the most important thing is that you value your worth, right? And you, you may not be fit for the job, descriptions but you do have possess and have qualities that are going to be good for you to do anyways I can rant so long story short I am working at a dentist office um, and it's a private practice and I am going to be their dental treatment coordinator so you know that person that when you get your cleanings done or your teeth done and they want to talk about you know what insurance are you gonna pay with or any other procedures that you need um, and that person has that discussion with you I'm that guy so nice. We're getting closer to Disney World. Yes. <laughs> closer and closer every day. I don't know. It's just an exciting time. It's an exciting time for you mm -hmm. uh, specifically. And I can't wait to get to vlogging in the theme parks. That's like my main goal, obviously. But these are all steps that need to happen. Like I have to find a job first so that I can pay for my annual passes and all of that. So that's why we're doing this series because I want to show the growth that yeah. is going to yeah. obviously take place throughout our time here and what you guys are going to see you know because we would love for you guys to uh, grow with us as you know as the channel grows right. as the experience so grows. remember one year from now we were living in an rv and then who knows maybe we'll be in a right who knows where we're mansion. gonna be at um but i would love you know that you guys will get to share that moment with us as well because mm -hmm. it's important to to him and what's important to him is important to me so yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so before we sign off for today we have one more thing Tomorrow, we are going to Disney Springs to do some shopping and I guess vlog there and show you guys what it looks like. I'm really excited. This is going to be my first time on Disney property as a Florida resident. So I'm super excited to show you that. So we will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Guys. Bye. All right, guys, it is the next day and we are about to head out to Disney Springs. Are you ready? Ready, day two. We got our little Christmas sweaters on. Well, our Christmas t-shirts. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are on our way to Disney Springs, but look who is joining us. Hello. <laughs> are you ready? Are you excited? I'm so excited. It's gonna do, be a good time. Do you love Florida? Love it. How long have you been here? Almost two years. Sweet. Yeah, best decision ever. Work. Oh my god, my first time going to the archway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, my first time going through the archway. I cannot believe I live here. I am like, these are cracking right now from smiling so hard. I love this. Okay guys, so we are here at Disney Springs. I am so excited to show you guys around. So, let's go. We just made it through clearance. Our temperatures were checked. We are all fine. And now it is time to enjoy Disney Springs. Let's do this. All right, guys, so, so we're getting some beer. Can, uh, you can drink around. She said you can walk around. With you can walk around with your beer? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, they're in our little... Oh, they're so cute. So you can walk around with that here? OK. Oh, I love this. I don't think it's going to last too long with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You. You guys are about to have your first Disney churro. churro. Look at how ready? beautiful this is. Oh my god, what it's did you a, get? It's a squawberry cheesecake. A squaw? Squaw squawberry cheesecake. What did you get? Nutella. Nutella. Mm. Oh. And I'm assuming that this has cream cheese on it? Yeah, I think that's Yeah, it's probably like that cream cheesy frosting. No, it's just regular icing. icing. Pillsbury dough. <laughs> <laughs> Better one. You've had better. So basically, yours? basically the prices in Disney are what like New York and New Jersey's prices are gonna be. Yeah. So it's six bucks, almost seven bucks. Seven bucks. What would you rate it? Buck of four. I don't know. I I tasted this one. It had like a play doh. It's just like play doh. Yeah. So it's my first time here as a Florida resident and I am living my best life. I am at Paradiso 37. <laughs> Alright guys, we got a little margarita action here. Salty. It's salty. salty. Yeah. <laughs> this margarita, it's okay. I mean, New York has better. It's my first time as a Florida resident and I love it. I am so excited to be here. Like everything I'm seeing, I want it, I need it. Everything is a must have, but I'm trying to control myself because it's not like I'm visiting. I live here now. So I have to pace myself, make sure that I'm not like 
grabbing spending but other than that mm, I'm so happy here Okay guys, so we are inside Goofy's candy store. Look at these amazing little treats that they have. How amazing is that? Yum. So now we're about to go into the pin trading store. You guys know that is my absolute vibe. I can't wait. Okay guys, so we just got done with Disney Springs. Honestly, that was one of my best times ever being there because I didn't feel like I needed to rush through everything because I live here now. So I got to uh, enjoy everything and whatever I didn't get to see, I can always come back. So right now we're gonna go grab something to eat. So that is a wrap on Disney Springs. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode two of The Road to Disney. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see. And also, don't forget to subscribe. As always, I love you for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.